Salute to all the Raising Canaan supporters. Welcome back to the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Show, where you'll get the latest in Power Universe and Cinema breakdowns. Ronnie go back to Pernicia House and he take all of Unique's jewelry. And when you look at this situation, Pernicia try to stop Ronnie from taking Unique jewelry. Pernicia tell Ronnie, hey, Unique gonna be looking for his stuff when he come back. And Ronnie just push her off of him. He don't say anything to her. But I think at that point, she should know everything she need to know about what's happening and what's, you know, what's going on with this situation. I think it's definitely a very scary situation for her. Um, and she got to figure this out. But I mean, I 100% believe that Ronnie is breeze now. So I think that the thing that we really have to figure out now is why do Ronnie get killed? We also figuring out that Ronnie is pretty smart and they said that Breeze was dumb. But when y'all look at it, I don't think that grown Kanan meant he was dumb as uh, he didn't have street smarts and savvy because you see who get ghosts and Kanan became under his um mentorship. I think they just meant that he was dumb from the fact that he did the same routine every day. He never thought that nobody would come to get him or nobody could get to him. He he didn't think to like, let me change this up every once in a while so I can stay on point. The social workers show back up and this time Kanan and Rock is on the other side of the door arguing. Um, basically they arguing about the fact that Rock put the gun in Kanan book bag. Now the social worker, she don't like this and she thinks something may be going on. So she asked to speak to Kanan in another room, but Kanan hold it down and basically say, you know, she's a good mom, but she's basically overbearing. And the lady say she liked the fact that, um, she's overbearing. She need more parents that will be more into their kid's life. So at least for now, they on the up and up with the social worker. But one thing you got to know is now since Kanan knows she put that gun in his bag, he'll never respect or listen to Rock again. He'll always love her. And it may be some point where he may have to, you know, do something in order to save her life um, because she his mom and he love her, but he don't respect her at all anymore. Ronnie show up the Juliana house with all the unique jury. And basically he doing this to confirm to her that unique is gone and not coming back. And he also giving her that as the money, the collateral, the down payment for the work that he going to need to put out here in these streets. Now, one of the main places Juliana mess up at is that she tells Ronnie, hey, this deal can only be between me and you. I only want me and you to know about it. So when her cousin find out about it, she might end up getting X'd out. He may say, hey, I can't do it myself, Rock, but... I'm going to leave her wide open for you to take her out now because Rock is not going to like the fact that uh, Kanan is running around with Ronnie now. And I keep telling y'all, I got my theory. Ronnie may not like Rock because he knows she's a snitch. He may know that she sent Defcon up, but also Rock knew that Defcon was gay. So it's a high probability that Ronnie know Defcon is gay or my theory is that Ronnie was Defcon lover but we gotta wait and let that play out and see what happened from that situation so Ronnie may even find out at some point that Kanan is Detective Howard's son Kanan had another run in with Paul and two things were figured out today um Paul figured out that Kanan is not the play and he'll put him down and us the audience found out that Paul uses drugs. He's a drug addict. So when you look at the way he stepped to Kanan, Kanan understand that he can't do nothing with him. And Kanan gave him a light threat. He told him, I've seen young guys put older guys down. And Ronnie just sat back and watched to see how Kanan was going to handle himself in that situation. I think Kanan handled himself correctly. I think all situations don't deserve for you to get emotional. I think all situations don't deserve a direct result or a direct regulation or a direct going upside somebody's head. When you look at Ronnie, he looked like he brutal, but and he looked like he a loose cannon, but actually he's methodical. He he thinks through the things that he's doing, but he's just somebody who's gonna do whatever needs to be done. So um Ronnie basically sit back and let Kanan talk to Paul and then after he's done with that, 
Ronnie invite him to the party. And at this party, Kane ain't going to meet all the players that's into the game, that's into the Queen scene, which is going to help Kane go to that next level and also going to help Ronnie have somebody that can be the face of his program. If you like this Raising Kanan breakdown and looking forward to more videos just like this, click the like button, the subscribe button, and turn on all the notification bells.